Alex Fetton, first round media, joining me today, former English WBA Intercontinental Champion, Jack Basin. Jack, how are we doing, pal? Good, thank you, mate. All good. Uh, good to get a uh, fight out of the way uh, this week and, uh, yeah, start pushing on. Yeah, good, mate. I know, obviously, you made your return to the ring last week after 12 months out. How good did it feel, you know, being back under them lights? Yeah, it felt really good. This last 12 months, obviously, I've been battling a little bit of, little bit of um, rubbish, obviously, coming off my last defeat. And uh, uh, it was just nice to brush the cobwebs off and, and get back to business properly. Yeah, good man. Well, you got the rounds in, you know, five rounds, you got the stoppage as well. Would you say yeah. that was probably the perfect fight for you after after a bit of time out of the ring? Yeah, it it was ideal, you know. Um, I went up against a world beater, but I was up, up against someone who came to have a good go. Uh, someone who didn't really get stopped. Uh, he only gets stopped by good kids. Um, so it was nice to get the stoppage, obviously. But yeah, like you say, I got a few rounds in. Um, and yeah, like, like I'm ready to get back in the big ones next year. Yeah, well, you know, good to see you back in the ring, mate. I'm sure many others would say that. Any update on when we can expect you back out again? Early next year. I want to have a big year, a, a busy year next year. Um, so I'm looking at, I think we're looking at March. Uh, March time and then probably all being well, you know, early summer. But um, hopefully there'll be, be some good opportunities for me next year. And uh, my management, um, who is my, my old man, uh, Mark, along with GSW Boxing, they'll be ready to push me on to uh, to get back into uh, title contention very soon, I'm sure. But man, obviously, just want to take it back a little bit. Obviously, you had twelve months out of the ring as a boxer. Yeah. Uh, boxer, you want to stay active, you want to be in them fights. What was it like for you being away from the ring for so long? Yeah, it was tough. Um, I think throughout my whole career, amateur and professional, I've I've never had more than you know just a few months out. Um, so it was tough, but I was in the gym every day. Uh, I'm working with a new trainer, uh, Keith Walton, who's added to my team, and uh. It's given me ch it's given me time to not just try get fit for fights, but you know develop as a fighter, work on certain things, uh, and even though I'm twenty plus years in the game, like there is there is uh, there's, th you never stop learning in this game, and I feel like I'm learning all the time, and especially now I'm with my new coach, and uh, um, hopefully I I've come back a better fighter. Yeah, I know you've said many times, you know, your goal is is to be a champion. You know, is there any champion or? Any titles that you, you want to be fighting for next year? Um, I would like to. I would like to obviously win the British title uh, eventually, and you know that's in touching distance, really. You know, I've won an English title, I've won a WBA Intercontinental. Um, I'd like to win a British title, um, whether that be next year or whenever it may be. Um, that's definitely on on the list. Um, but obviously, the ultimate dream is a is a world title. So whatever path I've got to go down to get there. Um, I'm happy to do so. So uh, I just want titles now. Like, um, I suppose when you had that that feel for fighting for titles and winning, winning titles, you know, walking around with a strap around your uh, your waist or your shoulder, you know, it's it, it means a lot. Uh, even now, I've got bits on the mantelpiece, and I think you know what I want. I want another one of them. Nah, I could imagine, mate. I could imagine. I think even domestically, uh, there's a lot of great fights for you out there. You know, you've got likes yeah. Lee McGregor, Pete McGrail, Jason Cunningham, guys like that. Any, any of those guys interest you or is it strictly titles that you're after? Um, yeah, no, I mean, I'm not particularly interested in anyone at all. Um, to me, it's just business. If, if the fight makes sense, then, you know, I, I'm very much happy to take it. Whoever my, my team say to me, listen, you're fighting this guy. I've always said to me, whoever you tell me I'm fighting, I'm, I'm confident of going in there and winning. Um, I'm not the sort of guy to go and choose choose my opponents and say, like you tell me who I'm fighting and I'll fight him yeah but that's the mind, mindset everybody should have as a fighter yeah and I, think, I respect that uh, but yeah massive thanks for your time Jack do appreciate you joining me pal you know best of luck for next no, year no